Hi, and welcome to this video on chromosomes and mitosis, content contained within the AQA GCSE biology specification. The learning objectives for this content are contained within the subtopic cell division, which is contained within topic one, cell biology, which is tested in paper one. Within the subtopic of cell division, the areas this video will cover are chromosomes and mitosis in the cell cycle. Stem cells will be covered in a separate video. So, starting off with chromosomes. Chromosomes are structures, each made up of a single coiled up molecule of DNA, which together code for all the characteristics of an organism. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule which carries the genetic information of an organism. Chromosomes are found within the nucleus, with each one carrying a large number of genes. In body cells, there are normally two copies of each chromosome, one from the mother, and one from the father. Each human body cell has 46 chromosomes, which can be arranged into 23 pairs. The sex chromosomes in males and females are different. Females have two X chromosomes, with females being referred to as XX, and males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, with males being referred to as XY. Now, moving on to mitosis in the cell cycle. The cell cycle is a series of stages in which body cells in multicellular organisms divide to produce new cells. Cells are required to divide when an organism grows or an organism is damaged and needs to repair with new cells. The first stages of the cell cycle involve cell growth and DNA replication, with each chromosome producing an exact copy of itself. After this, mitosis occurs. Mitosis is a type of cell division which produces daughter cells which are identical to the parent cell. It results in two new cells identical to the original cell, containing the same number of chromosomes. Now, looking at cell growth and DNA replication in more detail. Normally, when a cell is not dividing, DNA is spread around in long strings. The cell first grows by increasing the amount of organelles and subcellular structures it contains, like ribosomes and mitochondria. The DNA then duplicates, creating one copy for each of the new cells. The two identical copies form the characteristic X-shaped chromosomes, with each arm being an exact duplicate of the other. After cell growth and DNA replication has occurred, mitosis takes place. First, the nuclear membrane breaks down and the chromosomes line up across the center of the cell. Then, each arm of the chromosomes are pulled by cell fibers to opposite ends of the cell. Membranes then reform around each set of chromosomes, creating two separate nuclei. Finally, the cytoplasm and cell membranes divide to form two identical cells. In summary, the cell first undergoes cell growth and DNA replication, divides by the process of mitosis, ending up with two daughter cells being produced that are identical to each other, containing the exact same DNA, and also identical to the parent cell, again containing the same DNA. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Check out some of the tutorials down below.